one of the easiest way for a user to see whether a value or text has a positive or negative effect is by changing the color of it dynamically depending on the result of a measure. So today I want to try to show you how to format positive values green and negative values red. But let's first start by looking at what kind of data we're dealing with. I have a simple table that lists a couple of countries and I have actuals and budget. And if the result for a country compared to budget is positive, I want to have a green text. If it's negative, I want to have a red text. So let's see how this is done. First of all, I want to create a measure. And our measure is called just text. And then I would start with a variable which determines whether the budget is or the actors are above or below budget. So let's just calculate this. So the first variable is actuals budget where we just create the sum of actuals and calculate uh, minus the budget. And then we could already start with creating our dynamic text measure. So we want to say our second variable would be text. And we want to say if our previously created variable is above or equal to zero, then we want to show a green result. So to make something green, we need to switch to HTML. And whenever we do HTML, we need to start with a double quote. And then we will nest all this into a span container, which we want to style specifically with the color green. So span style equals to single quote. We want to define the color and the color should be green. We can close off this HTML tag with a double quote and then switch to DAX with an ampersand. So ampersand and then we want to format the measure or the variable we created before. And that's the end of our result is if true statement. So I can just copy this because the result, if false, is very similar. The only thing I want to change is the color. So I want to make this red. Close the parentheses, and then let's just see what happens when I return this. This should just return a number with um, a green or a red number. Let's see. I add the visual, and then I just add the number and I get a green two. Let's make all this a bit bigger so we can all see this 200%. Two, that's the overall result of all the countries, but I want to have one row per country. So what I can do is I can simply go and take the country field and put it in the category placeholder. So now I have one row per country, but right now I don't see which of the countries it is. So let's go back to the measure. And let's add another variable for the country. And then we just use selected value, country. So I want to see this before the actual value. So in here, I can see this should be the country and percent and then the value. Do the same for the negative row and then I see the number or the name of the country. I'm missing a space right now so we could add a space here by just adding double quote space double quote and percent again because we're going back to using DAX. And now we have Canada minus one, France plus three, Germany minus two. Um, the user doesn't know if this value is compared to budget or previous year or forecast or target or whatever. So let's also add this to the text um, in the very end. So here and percent again, because we're switching from DAX to HTML. And this would be green. That means this is above budget. 
And I guess we also need to have a space here. And then once again, I just copy this, paste it into the same location in the line below and change the word above to below. And now we have Canada below budget and that's it. Maybe we want to see, We of course we could add lots of styling options here. Um, let's just do one more thing. Let's just say that actually we only want to have the number colored. The text behind, we don't want to color it. So what we need to do is we need to close the span tag because the color is defined in the span. So after the number, we need to close the span tag. So in here, I can close the span tag. Again, copy, row below, and then we only have the number colored. I'm not saying that this is the way we should do it, um, but I was just showing how to dynamically change the color of text or values coming from a DAX calculation. Um, so it's easier for the user to see what to focus on. Currently, there's a few things I don't really like about what I have created. I don't like that the numbers are not in a line. So basically what I would do next is to create a table out of this. So we have two columns, the first one with only the country and then a second one showing the result and the text below or above budget. But this is something that we cover in a different knowledge base article where we show you how to create tables and KPI cards. I'm going to leave uh, a link to those videos in the description below. Um, as always, if you just getting started with our visuals, make sure to download the sample reports from the website. I'm also going to add links into the description because there's a lot of different elements within the sample reports that will help you to get started with the visual. So you don't need to create elements from scratch. You simply go into the report, navigate to the page and where you find an interesting element, copy paste it into your report and just individually change parts of the code. Um, if something doesn't work out, as always, leave a comment below. We're happy to hear from you. Um, get in touch. Um, thanks a lot for using our visuals. Cheers.